there. So now both pistons are off, the V packings are off. Now I can get this steel bushing off. Right here, should just slide right off. And then the last piece is the nut way on the bottom. So we're going to take that off. Now slide right up. This nut also holds the wiper seal in the end of the nut. So we'll have to remove that and then put the new one in. So you can see the seal is working its way out. I'm just going to try to pop it out of here real quick. See if it'll go. Almost. There we go. This is the wiper seal, the old one which we can toss. So this is another really important part <clears throat> that I like to address. Not many people have the special tool. So what usually people do is they'll just put a punch in here. And what that does is, is wrecks the square sided grooves on, that, uh, on the nut there. So um, what I would recommend is either taking a file and renewing the square sides of the grooves there or you can take a cutoff wheel and a grinder if you're good at freehand grinding and make sure the sides of the grooves are nice and square that'll save a lot of headaches for the next guy who takes it apart and rebuilds it okay so while we're on this nut uh, the other side is where the wiper seal gets pressed in like I said so we're going to clean up the back side, make sure there's no burrs, and then touch up the inside where the wiper seal sits just so it goes in easier. And that can be done with a flapper wheel on a drill. Just buzz that a little bit. Make it nice and shiny. There, now the wiper seal will go in and any burrs that were on the back side will have been removed. Now that brings me to the other components that go with the rod. This steel bushing here, which we can see as it was disassembled, something happened here to this outside o-ring that seals between the bushing and the barrel of the cylinder. I'm guessing that happened when everything was assembled and maybe the o-ring caught on the threads. So There is just one o-ring in this groove even though the groove is wide enough for a backup ring there is no need for a backup ring in this location because both components are stationary so that you can grab with a pick and remove and then the other two o-ring, I'm sorry, the other o-ring that you get in the kit goes on the inside of this. Can, uh, can, we, can we see that really good in there or not? Let me flip it around. Right in here, there's an o-ring and on the inside there should be the leather backup ring. <clears throat> the backup ring goes towards the little flange on this metal bushing that would be towards the end of the barrel so you can dig in there with a pick both of those will have to be removed here is the o-ring and then I'm going to remove the back up ring there as well 
stick in there with the pick and it comes right out so now I'm going to clean this up here with some brake clean and air real quick and then we'll give that an inspection okay so I've cleaned it up here just a little bit uh, make sure you remove anything that is in this outside groove um, you can see that there's just a little bit of surface rust on this side so that can be cleaned off with a rubber or I'm sorry a wire brush and then the grooves on the inside make sure those or I'm sorry the, the single groove make sure that's clean no pieces of grit or dirt or anything in there and that one looks really good and the last thing on this uh, steel bushing would be to inspect the bore that the rod slides in and if everything's working properly the chrome rod should never touch the metal of this bore there should just be a little bit of clearance in between but um, it does in certain scenarios so it's very important to make sure that there's no scoring or burrs anywhere in that bore otherwise it will score your rod so I'm just holding it up to the light here a little bit and this one is surprisingly good I've seen some where, where they were just all scored to heck as long as they're smooth yeah this one is really nice um, <clears throat> I should also mention that if your rod is in really bad shape and it's bad enough that it needs to be either re-chromed or replaced you need to replace this steel bushing as well new rod or new re-chrome job means new bushing as well so <clears throat> I've covered pretty much well, actually no here we go so the pistons let me give this piston rundown these two halves of each piston are actually matched um, you may not be able to see very well but they're machined in one piece at the factory and then broken apart when the ram is assembled so <clears throat> you see there's a little chunk missing which probably happened when it was broken apart it's certainly not in the ram uh, one side where it was broken um, is the solid side and then the back side there's going to be a little gap it is extremely important that you do not grind down this side to make no gap that's extremely important so don't grind these little tabs down they need to be there the solid side will get assembled towards the V packing and the opposite side with the gap here has just a slight bevel on it that will go away from the V-packing on the rod. So keep your pistons matched. This is the other one here. It'll, yep, there you go. If you get them mixed up, you should be able to tell which half goes with which half. So dunk these in a parts washer or brake clean and clean them off. So now I'm going to switch over to the second cylinder that I have disassembled just for save some time here and we'll assemble that one. This is Alex here again with an interruption to your current video. Um, I'm just making a note here. While the cylinder is apart and after your bushing and after your nut is cleaned up, um, it is important to test fit the bushing in the cylinder barrel. Um, make sure it goes all the way down and there is something to check on here. <clears throat> if your bushing presses in past the end of the threads where the end of the threads are cut on the barrel, um, that, is, that is not good. Unfortunately your barrel is, is too far expanded and everything is just too worn. So at that point uh, the best decision would be to unfortunately get a different barrel or get a new one. And then 
might as well test fit the nut in the threads. Uh, make sure everything will go together nice and smooth at the end, which this one does. The nut turns in real nice. So. Uh, I will return you now to your regularly scheduled programming.